Hey guys, how's it going? Capan here. Today I wanted to do a video highlighting my just incredible run of arena recently. I, uh, you guys, as you guys know, I did five. 12 win arenas consecutively, and that beats my previous record of three. I got three like 10, maybe more than that times in the past consecutive 12 win arenas, but never more than that. And then I got to four, and then I got to five. Yeah, it was broken by a pretty crappy shaman deck as you guys heard about yesterday, but it was still a blast, and obviously these things are not gonna go on forever. The fact that I got five in a row is really mind blowing to begin with. But then after I did that, after I had the poor run, I was on the train again. Uh, as you guys know, I, I did the 12-0 Warrior right after that, and the next two runs after that were also 12 wins. So in in a span of, of eight, uh, a span of nine arena games, I went 12 wins in eight of those nine runs. And I wanted to share with you guys today. I want to show you guys the deck list so you can see just how crazy this is. I mean. I, this is just never going to happen to me again. It might happen to someone else. You have to get ridiculously lucky for this to happen. But uh, truly, I, I am, I am amazed that I was able to do this. So, these are some of the decks from this experience. Um, overall, I won 101 arena games in nine arena runs. I didn't follow any kind of obscure challenge rules or anything like that. But overall, I played six different classes. Uh, these are not in any particular order. I just grouped up the rogues the, at the end. Uh, this is the Warlock deck. You can see it went 12 and 1. This deck almost went 12 and 0, but it was just a little bit shy. It was just a little bit short. It got a bit unlucky. Um, but uh, overall, pretty good deck. Warlock works by just having a lot of early game threats and leveraging your hero power by maintaining board control in the early and mid game. And I certainly did that. Uh, then I played one mage in the nine runs. Um, the mage had a very powerful deck, as you can see, double flame strike, uh, a lot of just very powerful cards, a lot of removal. Removal is premium these days in arena. Then I had a paladin draft. The paladin draft had two legendaries, both good. Well, one is a little bit better than good. Tyrion turns out to be one of the best cards in the whole game in terms of arena. It's probably still top five, though it's not quite the best. It's still it's still pretty damn insane. And I definitely won a lot of the games on the back of that guy. Uh, but yeah, 12 wins with Paladin. And then moving on was the Warrior run. 12-0 uh, with Warrior. That is what a 12-0 Warrior looks like, apparently. You have a very good curve of weapons. You have uh, very early game weapons, early game weapons, mid-range weapons, and later game weapons. And you have overall just high card quality throughout. More importantly, I think Warrior is very difficult to play compared to some of the other classes because it's so important to know when you have to go all in and when to go face. Uh, it helps a lot to have a lot of the card draw, which the deck does have, because you can often prolong this moment um, and, you know, kind of adapt to a situation better than you otherwise would. And then I also went 12-0 with a, a rogue deck. This is the rogue deck here. This is uh, nothing too special, really. Um, just rogue is really, 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 really good because your plays are more efficient than your opponent's plays if you have high quality early game cards. And I had high quality early game cards, so I just outpaced almost every single opponent I played. I went 12-0 uh, again with a different rogue deck. This rogue deck uh, may be considered a little bit better. The quality of cards is certainly higher. Having the legendary at the end helps quite a bit. And uh, you know, the, the the way that I won the games is basically the same thing. You just completely outpace your opponent. That's what makes Rogue uh, easily the strongest class in Arena these days. And then I had another 12 win run with Rogue. We had the 12 and 2 with Rogue. This is a pretty good deck, but as you know, you know, so a deck like this on a very good day could go 12 and 0. On a very bad day, I could go 3 and 3. So, you know, there is a lot of luck aspects. Um, sometimes it just doesn't even have to do anything with the luck in the game. You might just be playing opponents who have better decks than you, even though you might have the best deck you've ever seen in Arena. That's probably not the best deck out there. And then the last run with Rogue, I did have four Rogue runs among these uh, 8 12 win runs. Uh, this one also pretty good, fairly high card quality, uh, some obscure cards, but we made it work again because it's pretty easy to win in the early game with a rogue. Overall, it's been a blast. I've I've been so thankful for the encouragement and uh, and really support you guys have given me with this. Uh, but in the end, we did it. I mean, uh, over a hundred wins in nine arenas. How soon will that happen again? It'll probably never happen again to me. So uh, yeah. 
here it is. This is probably the most amazing thing I'm ever going to do in Hearthstone Arena. I want to show you guys the end of it because I have been showing you guys clips on and off in the last few videos uh, because this is what I have been streaming in, in the last week or so. Um, so I, I just want to show you guys near the end um, the last deck, the ninth deck of the challenge was the Paladin, and as you saw with a lot of legendaries, uh, quite a lot of things were, were possible. So check out the final moments leading up to, uh, and you know, feeling that excitement of just about getting those 100 wins in nine arena runs. Check it out, enjoy, thanks again, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I will serve. How about that, bros? Okay. There's only one good one here. Oh, that's ugly. Talon has pretty good hero power, by the way. Alright, let's take our time with this one. I think the Sideshow Spell Eater might be better than the Doomsayer. Let me see, what do the stats say? Validated Doomsayer, 42. Sideshow Spell Eater, 34. Well, we're not really comparing great cards, so... So bad if I'm losing. It's not that bad. Yeah, if you're winning, but if you're losing, it's worthless. It's actually worthless. I think the spell eater might be good. Paladin has a good hero power, but in the late game, it's not necessarily the best. Do you guys have any experience with the validated doomsayer? Okay, fine. Let's try it. Okay, pretty easy picks. I'm gonna go for a heal bot, but I think I'd just rather go for good tempo cards. Toad versus Berserker. We have a Shattered Sun here. Shattered Sun is good, but not having two drops to play it on makes it pretty worthless. Cabal target? <laughs> the last time I got Cabal in Arena was like a month ago. This shit doesn't really happen. I think Toad is better than the Berserker because it's more aggressive. Mani is 67, Toad is 65. Shattered Sun is 70, but... I agree, it's, if this is the first pick, I'd take the Shattered Sun. I'd ag I agree with that, but it's not the first pick. I'll take the Toad. It's garbage. I think I'll just do the Competitive Spirit, it's more aggressive. Fine, Smith. Keeper's alright. Let's go Frost Giant. Uh, don't want any more big minions, honestly. Yeah, I'll take the Snowball. That's good. I think I'll take the Seal of Champions over that. Squire is nice, it's an annoying card. It's also an annoying card. I'll take Protector. It's the Violet Teacher. Light in the Darkness is pretty good, but again, you mostly use it for late game. Spellbreaker 63. Light 78. Oh my god, I don't know about that. I just don't need more big minions, I don't need them. I'm gonna go with Spellbreaker. Uh, weapon's good if it's the only one, but uh, let's take a Rifleman instead. Wow, that's tough. The Mysterious Challenger is not bad. We don't have any sixes and it'll it'll take Competitive Spirit out of the deck. Blood Knight is nice. Blood Knight 68. Mysterious Challenger 67. My deck's probably higher. Uh, I'm gonna take Challenger. Another Keeper. Whoa. Okay, weapon acquired. Um, I think I have to take the Jouster. It's all about the early game right now. Jouster is 51 though. That's low. I'll take the early game. That's good. It's really good. Let's take the shade. Let's take the toad. Let's take the ooze. Let's take the heal. Let's take a peacekeeper. Oh baby! This deck's pretty good, man. We fixed the early game pretty well. A hunter. There's consecration. I don't think I want to keep it in my opener. I'll keep double two drop though. It's pretty nice. King. Mind if I roll need? It's pretty good actually. King. Oh! Wanna blow something up? <laughs> Just don't kill my guy. It's fine. Mm. I'm thinking of maybe not playing the Argent Protector here. Yeah, I get a nice trade, and winning the early game is a really big deal and all, but like my turn four play is Infested Torn, and I'm gonna have three minions with two attack. It's terrible. Okay, that's fixed.
pretty good. Do you like to play with fire? Oh! That didn't go according to plan. Looks like we're gonna do pretty well this game. Ouch. Put your faith in the light. Now the good thing is if he kills Tyrion but takes the six damage on his taunt, he actually dies. Yes. Okay. Looks like he didn't think this through. <laughs> he did not. Validated bros. Uh, let's give him the kill. We drew Consecrate in the end, so might as well. One hundred and nine. That's probably not happening too soon. You know the Rifleman's probably a decent card here. And I'm gonna keep the Iron, Iron Forge Rifleman. I don't want to be forced to play a Peacekeeper on three just because it's a curve play. One hundred and twenty and ten next level. Yeah, that's gonna be kind of hard to do. All right, so if I play the shade, yeah, why don't I just do a non-greedy trade? Play the shade. Because now he, he wouldn't even want to Consecration. He might, and it would be pretty awesome, but yeah, never lucky. Uh, I probably do have to peacekeep that. I think I'm better off coining next turn if I need to. Oh, it's really good. It's a small tree, you know, you gotta, you gotta do what you have. Well, I could really only kill the 1-1. One, one. Killing the 1-1 one, one doesn't really pay out so well. It's pretty bad, but... It's pretty annoying. of our big threats, so... Ah, uh, we should still be in good shape. I mean, the guy just burned two Divine Shields and a King's to stay in the game. So, I mean, I guess that's okay. Oh my god, I might lose. Alright, so I need True Silver or Consecration right now. Well, 
Well, if there's a card scarier than Tyrion, it's Mukla's champion when you have board control and three minions. Oh boy. Yeah, this is gonna get super ugly here. Well, this absorbs four damage at least. But I don't think I can win. That's tough luck. That was a mistake. Put your faith in the light. Well, his deck is pretty good. Obviously, it is. He's had eleven wins. But uh, Mukla's Champion is one of those cards where if you have uh, if you have a board against nothing as a paladin, you kind of crap all over your opponent. So. Do you have another Divine Shield? Get in there and fight, uh, that's a misplay. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, Rogue Final Boss is pretty rough. Our chance to win is below 50%. How about maybe we'll get lucky this time? Ugh. Terrible draws. We got three legendaries and arenas like twice, but both of those uh, both those arenas went like four wins. Some legendaries are like absolutely insane, but most of them are worse than common cards. Like I think there's only like three legendaries better than true silver, so doesn't really matter that much. Mm, these no plays. Hmm. All right, I guess. Actually, I'm going to attack into that. Cheating. Let's actually deny the pirate. Uh, no, muster for battle is better than Tyrion. That's actually going pretty well now. That's kind of annoying. The average legendary quality is higher than the average common quality. You are correct. It's true. A typical legendary card is better than a typical common card. And I, I don't think you will have much disagreement with your statement. This is good positioning because you can't target the guy. I'm gonna go for face because uh, if all he can kill is the three two, it's not really worth uh, sinking my minion in. Better to smork it up. Damn, that sucks. I don't think I'm gonna YOLO face yet. He's too low for a weapon to make a difference, so I'll tempo out an ooze. Well wins, boys.
12 wins all day, every day. 101 and 9. <laughs> That's actually ridiculous. Oh, Golden Heim. I don't think I have that card. Okay, let's get a couple packs here. 